You know, I said moments ago, how is the White House dealing with what some are saying a defeat? Again, as I said yesterday, and it really heated up the phone lines, I think the president really took the upper road here and decided to do the right thing for the working class people of the federal government. I think he wanted some shock value because he really wanted to get the Democrats to the bargaining table for this barrier or border wall. Well, that's not going to happen anytime soon, and we're going to find out by middle of February if the government is going to be shut down again. I really do believe the president has to put this behind him so he can get back to creating jobs, working class, middle class jobs, and putting Americans back to work again. But as far as the blame in this, I really blame our government and what's happening in Washington, D.C. It seems to be more about political positioning for an upcoming election or some sort of major story to attack someone's character. When really, as all of this continues to happen, they are all missing an opportunity to do what they were voted into office to do, both Republicans and Democrats. And you know what's amazing to me, the president seems to be the only one trying to move this country forward. He's had own members of his own party say, you know, this government shutdown should have never happened. We know what Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has had to say, what Chuck Schumer has had to say. You know, it just amazes me where we are in this country right now when we have so many gifts and opportunities, many more than our parents and grandparents, and we continue to let them slip through our fingers. So today we're on point talking about how to get this country back on point. Rob Pratt Sunday, don't miss it, beginning at 5 a.m. on KK Radio.